and I'm like balls out, fucking struggling too. Shit the balls shit. out. <laughs> <laughs> shit fuck the abductor. I just some sh I mean I can't just shit fuck these reps around here, boy. <clears throat> these are watermelon crushers. For my only fans. The shalong squeezer. <laughs> Squeeze the glutes. Yep, yes. There you go. There you go. That's better. Hold this. Marshals. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Two cues for him, especially because he has a good setup for being able to actually lock himself in, keep his spine mostly straight, have his rib cage and his pelvis mostly in an organized position. Where he has trouble, or a lot of people have trouble, is once. The lower leg comes up and it's right above the knee. You get past that point and most people to get there, they allow their pelvis to go into anterior tilt and they use their lumbar spine to extend a little bit. So then be able to get the rest of the range of motion. The only thing he needs to do is lock into his starting position and not allow anything to change 
from the pressure he keeps in his torso through his brace while he gets past that point. If he can keep his initial setup the way it is when he starts, he has no issues being able to pass that point. And for most people, it's the same. If you start in a good lock position, have your lats down and tight, you're not already flared up, you have your hips tucked under you, trying to keep good contact of the upper leg against the pad, keep the glutes tight enough to just lock in the leg position so it doesn't rotate. You can hold that, then hold the brace position, get a little bit more outward pressure through the stomach. You can keep yourself with a pressure vessel down here against the pad so that your spine doesn't have the easy transit position to go through here. You're locked in, you have a pressure vessel up against the lumbar spine, there's a lot less room for it to move so that you can kick your hip up in the air and get that range. Lock it down, you don't have a problem. I usually put in some pauses for my warm-ups just so that I can make sure that as I'm going through the heavier stuff and I'm actually touching the bottom and I may drop a little lower at times than I'm prepared for and at least I've sat there and I've gotten everything lengthened out enough that it's comfortable to be there and then I don't have any surprises when I drop down no adductor quad tear stuff like that or at least hopefully less likely <laughs>
Messias! No. That's it. 